everybody today let's talk about the audio technica lp70x so as you can see very straightforward very nicely made here's a picture of the back i got this thing set up kind of how i want it so i'm not going to turn it around to show you the back but there it is of course you know the lid just pops up you've got a finger lift here that works very nicely very well damped and of course you can operate it manually if you just move it into position and then pop it down it obviously works manually and then you can do that of course you've got your speed selector start and stop obviously if i just hit start it'll start spinning lift the arm and obviously move that over very simple to operate very nicely made the weight my weight tracks a little over two grams um i haven't noticed any issues with that or anti-skating or anything of that uh, but uh, yeah very very nicely made the built-in phono stage and it basically follows in line with what i talked about when i talked about the lp5x video which i'm going to link down below which is basically that it's serviceable it is satisfactory are there nicer sounding phono stages sure enough but coupled with the atvm 95c cartridge that the uh, turntable comes with excuse me uh, it's satisfactory now i will say i did primarily use the turntable with it bypassed of course running into my amplifier but overall it sounded nice it sounded satisfactory did it blow my socks off no it didn't but it was good enough if you know what i mean so everybody let's talk about the sound quality of the lp70x and overall i'm very impressed with it bass is very nice actually pretty fairly consistent with what the lp5x was um, I do think the mid-range is a little nicer here. I don't know why. And I would argue that, or I would say I'd make the claim that that could be because of the belt drive versus the direct drive. In my experience, historically, uh, with as many turntables as I've had over the years, I do find belt drives do have, for whatever reason, a better uh, elasticity in the mid-range, uh, a better tonality, a better tonally correct sound in the mid-range. Uh, versus direct drives. Uh, not to disparage direct drives, but again, I do find that belt drives do have a bit more correct sound in the mid-range, at least to my ears. In any case, uh, the highs here are quite as fairly represented, and I'm not sure why. Um, I could argue that it's probably the cartridge, probably most of all, because of course the LP5X comes with the AT uh, VM95E, which is the elliptical, where this comes with the 95C conical stylus. Now that said though, um, I just noticed a little bit less air in the highs versus what I experienced with the LP5X. Now, I, of course, I did change the cartridge on the LP5X, which uh, again, I'll link that video down below uh, because of some issues with the cartridge that I had that came with it. But in any case, I do notice, like I said, overall, just a little less sparkly, a little less air, a little bit reduction in those qualities in the high frequency range. So yeah, this definitely gets my recommendation 100% at its price point. I think right now, this is probably the lowest I'd wanna pay for a turntable, a new turntable uh, in terms of functionality. Now, of course, U-Turn has their model, which I have tried before, but I never reviewed because mine had a problem with it. But that said, I think this is better overall. I think it has a better consistency of sound um, and it just has more features. I mean, you get the automatic, which doesn't impede anything. You know, I know some people will argue the purity of a manual turntable and yeah, I get that. But at the same time, the automatic features help and they don't impede the sound. It's not like you're getting worse sound quality because I can just hit the start button. You know what I'm saying? So why not? And plus you get the built-in photo preamp, which sounds really good, as I've mentioned, and performs and functions great. So at that price point, this is definitely the way to go. And it's certainly the way to go uh, over the LP60, 100%. I think for the extra uh, uh, uptick and charge, excuse me, that is charged here, what is it, like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that, this is definitely worth it. Plus, again, you have the ability to just go down to your local store and buy it. You don't have to think about, you know, ordering online and is it going to get damaged in shipping and all of these things. I bought this at Best Buy, as I've said, you know, you can just go down and buy it and, you know, there you go. It's yours today, right now, for example. So yeah, definitely gets my recommendation at its price point as a great turntable, performs and functions 
beautifully and sounds tremendous. Anyway, stay tuned.